Here at Golf Clubs for Cash, we're always on the lookout for spotting fakes. Now, it's not something that we see an awful lot of, but in this case, we've got a set of fake Ping G410 irons. Now, the differences are very subtle, and to the untrained eye, it might be quite difficult to spot. Because we see so many sets all the time, for us, it's quite easy to spot. Have a look at this. So this real G410 iron that we have is much shinier than the copy one. The finish on this one is kind of dirty grey, whereas the, the real G410 is much shinier. So quite an obvious telltale sign there. The head shape's also different. So this copy one is smaller, longer thin kind of profile, whereas the, the regular one, the real G410 is much bigger head, much more forgiving. Another really obvious sign is the shaft band here is facing the wrong way. KBS shaft should be, the KBS logo, sorry, should be facing on the underside of the club. So again, a big telltale sign. And another sign to look out for with fake clubs is if you smell the grip, you'll often smell a more car tire, cheaper rubbery smell, as opposed to an odorless grip, which the, you know, the modern golf prides and lambkin grips are. So um, there's some obvious signs, but unfortunately these ones are, are copies. So we're going to stick with selling these ones. The last thing to confirm our suspicions that these are the genuine clubs and those ones are the fake ones is the weight when you're swinging it. So the real G410 has a nice weight to it and it's consistent throughout the set. This one here, when you swing it, the head is really, really light, which overall just affects the balance of the club. Doesn't feel like I could play consistently with them. And I'm not as comfortable hitting this one as I am hitting the real one.